Hey, what's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body beat down here, Michael, on this hump day uh, morning or afternoon, I should say. It ain't morning. <laughs> Anywho, uh, yeah. So today is deadlift day. I decided to go ahead and do another round of the elevated, especially on how I'm feeling today. As you can tell there, uh, I was not feeling it today. And we're going to touch on this at the uh, closing of the video. So I don't want to just sit here and spew the same old thing before uh, the closing of the video. But let's just say today was not the day uh, to, to really uh, expect too much, uh, unfortunately. But uh, it's okay because I did get in the gym and get some work done which is what's most important. The very most important thing is doing something uh, and not just giving in to the uh, cruddy old blues and uh, laziness and doing nothing. That's not gonna help anything at all, none. So anyhow, uh, today we, we had our, our uh, Thanksgiving dinner that we have at our house. Uh, my wife always cooks. A dinner for us and our kids and uh, of course now over the years our grandkids and you know if we want to have somebody else over that you know a friend or whatever that we invite or something you know we might have that but typically it's just us and uh, so we had that today a late kind of for a late lunch I guess you could say and uh, so you can imagine kind of where uh, where I'm at today <laughs> after eating that and I didn't eat a whole lot I didn't I didn't indulge or anything, but you know, any anytime you eat foods like that, for some reason or another, uh, you just you get tired. So that's how I ended up was tired, and uh, that'll play kind of a factor through the whole workout here. Unfortunately, um, and this is 315. For those of you that don't know, I'm sorry I didn't uh, tell you the weights here. But that's 315. The one before was 225. Warm, two warm-up sets are 135. And uh, so we're at 315 now. And, uh, you know, you keep the reps low because you have kind of these thoughts in your mind of what you're going for. So, you know, depending on the workout that you're doing uh, is kind of how you you start out and kind of how you go. So whenever you're looking to do high, you know, a, a heavy rep if you're looking to go for your heavy max rep you're going to wear yourself out getting there all of this is basically just kind of a warm-up oddly enough that's a 405 by the way uh, four plates on each side is 405 the bar is 45 so you know you keep the reps low and you're just kind of warming up your body and your mind and getting that connection going and uh and that way so when you get to your high your highest weight you know you're ready to go so, uh, versus uh, other training methods where you're just working out and you're getting in more reps and, you know, you might be climbing a ladder, you might be pyramiding down, pyramiding up, whatever you want to do, but uh, a lot of my workout is kind of working my way back up, you know, working my way up to a heavy uh, set. And you'll notice here I'm going from the floor, I decided, well, since I only went to 405, I wasn't really feeling like going any higher. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go ahead and put this on the ground and uh, we'll pull from the floor. And uh, again, that's 315. And I get a good, uh, get a good 10 reps here. Uh, my rep PR on 315 is I think 17 or 18 reps. I don't remember. It's been a while since I went for that. But, uh, yeah. So 10 isn't a big deal, but it is a big deal because I didn't give up. I kept going. And uh, that's what's important, guys. On good days, bad days, whatever kind of days, you, you don't give up. And uh, this right here is kind of extra. I wasn't sure if I was going to do anything else today. I wanted to, but I wasn't sure because of how I was feeling. But then I got to thinking, well, how I'm feeling, I need to do something extra. That way I can leave my workout feeling kind of good and satisfied and, you know, about myself and like I didn't cut any corners, you know, uh, I had kind of a lackluster deadlift, but hey, let's go and throw some bicep curls in here. So we're doing some sitting 
uh, simultaneous dumbbell curls, guys. And the first set there was 25s. Uh, second set here is 30s. And, uh, I try to keep my reps uh, a little bit high today. I thought, why not? It's kind of something that I thought of on the very first set. I was like, no, I'm going to go for a little bit higher rep. So usually I stop at like 10. And uh, so I went up, I did. What did it say? I didn't do like 25 and then 50. What? Oh, I got that bass sacrament. No, okay, I did 15. Never mind. Sorry, I'm confusing myself here. <laughs> uh, anyway, I think these are 40s. If this is my third set, these are 40s. So, get a good little workout. Uh, these feel pretty good. Um, it's a less stress on my elbows, oddly enough, if I supinate my wrist, you know how you turn them, uh, versus just holding my wrist out and kind of doing the dumbbells, holding them out. If I supinate my wrist, it doesn't hurt my elbows. I have golfer's elbow, tennis elbow, whatever kind of elbow. So sometimes curls can kind of hurt. And these are 50s, and uh, I wanted to get 10 because I was wanting to keep my reps kind of up there. But if I would have pushed myself past eight reps, uh, they would have got a little bit crazy. I didn't want to do anything too crazy today. I don't mind doing some crazy curls, but uh, I was trying to keep them kind of cool. So, uh, and this set right here, of course, I think I just said there in the video, but dropping back down to 25s and uh, just doing a nice little burnout. Uh, get 15 reps. So, guys, stick around for the clo closing of the video. I kind of go over some of the same stuff I just touched on, but, you know, we close up the video and... Uh, Anyway, so we'll see you later, and uh, please stick around for more The Body Beatdown videos, and please like, share, subscribe, and comment if you would. Please have a good Thanksgiving. All right, guys, just like that, we're done with our workout today. It wasn't the best workout in the world. A little disappointed, but I don't know what else I expected. Uh, I took a late nap, and... Uh, like right at two o'clock, uh, we ate one of our first Thanksgiving dinners here at our house uh, that we do every year uh, on Wednesday. And I was tired and I hadn't had a nap yet. And so I went to lay down and I, I laid down until about four and uh, didn't sleep the whole time, but I laid there. And so I was tired, groggy, lazy, grouchy, grumpy, weak, all kind of other words you can throw out there. And, uh, but it was one of those days where I came out and I was like, oh, well, it's going to either be, you know, one or the other. I'm going to kind of just get through a, a workout or I'm going to surprise myself. Cause you know how sometimes you feel like that. You have all those things going against you, but you go and you work out and you do something amazing. Well, you know, not so much today. It didn't work out that way. It, it happens a lot, but uh, today it didn't happen. I kind of thought it was for a second, and then I was like, mm -mm. no, not going to happen. So I just did the, I did something. So I got the 405, at least for a couple of sets, a couple reps there. And uh, then I, at least I closed out with 315 for 10 reps from the floor. I thought, well, I'll go ahead and throw that on the floor and do that. So. I, I did 3.15 for 10 reps, which is okay. I mean, I've done a lot more, but, you know, not bad considering the uh, circumstances. And uh, so, you know, you, you got kind of the bad and the ugly with kind of a surprise and the good. I went ahead and I did another body part, and that's biceps. And I wasn't sure if I was going to do anything else today because of how I felt. And I thought, you know what, if I don't go ahead and do something else, I'm going to be kind of disappointed with myself. And I don't want to be disappointed with myself. I'm that way enough as it is. So I said, you know what? Let's go ahead and do some biceps. Just a quick little workout. It wasn't nothing crazy. So I just did some sitting uh, simultaneous dumbbell curls. 25, 30, 40, 50, and 25. And I kept my reps uh, pretty high up there. Uh, 15, 12, 12, 8, and 15. I wanted to get 10 on the 50, but I was just getting tired. And I didn't want to get crazy with them. So, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, that's my pre-Thanksgiving workout. And uh, it wasn't too bad. You know, it could have been better. It wasn't too bad. You know, I did something. And uh, so, anyway, 
Uh, if you get a little inspiration from the video, guys, uh, and uh, maybe I help you along the way in something, not just working out, but something in your life, you kind of find the drive to do something, and maybe I helped you get there, or maybe I didn't. Maybe you just want to be nice. Maybe like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, too. The Body Beat Down, that's me, your ready to be done host, and uh, have a good day, a good tomorrow, and a good rest of the week in life. Have a good life, guys. Get up, get out, get ready. Do it to it. We'll see you next time on the Body Beat Down. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it.